So let's start with the report title. To create a title, we have to write something out. So I'm going to come to still the insert tab. So I'm going to select text box. And that's my text box on the left hand side. I want to drag it out. The easiest way for you to drag text boxes is to locate this ellipsis, the dot 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 that you find, right? So from there, you'll be able to drag easily. So I want to drag it out all the way to after this margin. Then I'm going to expand it a little bit and I'm also going to collapse it downwards a little right and i really want it to just be at the top of the page so i will click inside the text box so that i can type but the easiest way i always find to type in text boxes is to preset what you want first so i want to make this to be of size 18 and i want to make it bold and i want to underline it and i also want to change the color to some kind of dark blue like this then i can start typing and what i want to type is just uh, maybe we should just call this sales and transactions reports by period then i need to collapse this text box to go as slim as this And that's the first usage of text. Now, the next thing we want to add to the report has to do with summary numbers. We want two summary numbers. The first one is going to carry the total sales. The second one is going to carry the total transactions. Now, anytime you want to display single numbers like that, you want to display just the total sales, not by anything, not by region, not by customer type, not by city, not by state, or you want to describe or you want to display number of transactions and you just want the number alone. You really don't want to, you know, break down the number by anything. That means you are trying to display single value numbers. So when you have single value numbers to display like that, maybe just one or two of them, the best visuals you can use is either you use card visuals. So I can pull up a card visual like this and i can resize it to my taste and then i can go to my fields on my reports expand my fields and i can use my sales right so that should give me the total sales and i could also do the same thing to get the transaction number but in this case i want to use a different approach because there are two ways you really can visualize single numbers like this when you don't use a card you can use simple text, right? That means you can write up some simple English language to achieve the same thing. So we are going to leverage the smartness of Power BI's text to achieve that. So let me just delete this card and I'm going to insert another text box. Then I need to drag this text box again over to this area. I want to place it just underneath the title and I'm going to expand it all the way to the end then I will click inside and I'm ready to type this time I'm not going to format it first I will do my formatting later so you can also see how to format your text after you have already typed everything out so I want to type something like total sales over the period amount to i put a space now amounts to what amounts to the sum of sales the way to include values from your data into what you are typing in text is to click on this plus value that we see here so i've already written total sales over the period amount to something now amounts to an amount that has to come in from my data so i'm going to have to click on this plus value here and this is going to give me this box where i can type a question now what i want to type is i will just simply type in sales here and it's going to show me the sales from my data i will select that sales from my data and you can see that it already displays a result for me which is 2,297,000 now once you get the value like this one other thing you can also do is to select the type of formatting that you want to apply 
to the value and i'm simply going to click on dollar sign here to show that this is money value then i'm going to click on save so you see it's right there but i'm not yet done so i'll simply come to the back or at the end of this value click inside that point i'll press my space bar once again and i'm going to continue with my text so total sales over the period amounts to two million dollars i'm going to include here that and total number of transactions is space something so now the total number of transactions also has to be calculated from the data is a value that has to come in from the data into the text i'm typing so i'll see go ahead to click on this plus value here so here i'm going to type in order id count not the ordinary count now i want a count distinct and you can see the results right there i'm going to select this and i'm going to click on save so that's it the total sales over the period amounts to this million dollars and the total number of transactions amounts to this, to this five thousand and nine then i want to format the text so i'm going to click inside the text box and since i'm trying to format all of the text at once i can press ctrl a on my keyboard to highlight it all then i'm going to try to make um the font size to be like size 16 and also i want to make this bold and i want to make the font color to be white so i'm going to change the font color to white okay then let me slim this text box now if i click outside of the text box if i click an empty area within the canvas you will notice that the text is not being displayed because i've changed the font to white and that's because i want to change the background of the text box to blue color so i'm going to come back somewhere around here then i'm going to click on the text box i will come over here to the format section i will go to the effects and i'm going to change the color of the background to that same very dark blue and then i can click away from the text box again and given that this is almost like the defaults that i'm going to have on about two or three of my reports pages what i will simply do is i'm going to double click on this page name and i'm just going to call it temp for templates then i will right click and i'm going to select duplicate so that's going to be my template and i will basically start to build my reports from this duplicate value so i can double click on the du duplicate value and type periodic reports on this i'm going to press enter and that's it for now